Hello everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic day. This is not a mailbag and this is not a sponsored video, but I thought I'd open some stuff and talk to you about the possible sponsors. So I had a company reach out to me and um, they are KKSB and they asked me if they could sponsor a video. And uh, when I saw their products, I actually just went out and bought seven of them instead of waiting for the sponsored product. And speaking of companies that are not sponsored but that I absolutely love, I got a bunch of other stuff and some more stuff. So what in the world would I be doing with this big pile of stuff here? No copyright infringement on Pile of Stuff's channel intended but uh this is from one of my favorite companies here this is key studio and this is an ethernet shield and i'm guessing by the weight that this is an arduino mega clone so i can get all these out of the way because i got seven sets of these and i got seven sets of these so this is something that i've really struggled to find a quality product for this is the Arduino Mega case that is made to hold an Ethernet shield. Now, um, for my purposes, I don't necessarily need these knockouts and I kind of wish they weren't there. But overall, this thing feels like it's of really good quality and I'll try to make use of that while I'm working on this thing. So as I said, it is surprisingly difficult to find quality cases for Arduinos that have shields on them and especially for the Ethernet shield. And as you can see here, uh, the cutouts, oh, that is tight. Okay, it does fit. Um, the cutouts here are made to handle the existing ports and then we're gonna have to knock this out over here. And then we should be able to put on the Ethernet shield. And if all goes well, I'll have a nice neat package. Now, I may have mentioned this before, but um, there was an error on the original design, uh, or I guess the original ripoff design of these Arduino shields. And it's very common to have the wrong resistor, I think somewhere up here, that causes a lot of versions of the shield to not work very well. And as such, people tend to say, oh, the shield, the Ethernet shields for Arduino are absolute junk. And that's not the case. Uh, the problem is that people put the wrong resistor there. For some reason, it's sort of one of those things how when you get a copy of a copy of a copy, um, somebody made a mistake and then a whole bunch of people copied that mistake and you wind up with a bunch of shields that don't work and nobody ever really fixed the problem. But Key Studio fixed the problem. Ooh, that is a tight fit. Oh, let me get this in here right before I bend this thing. Oh, there it goes. It goes straight down. Um, but that is nice. That is a nice, clean uh, package there. And then we've got some room over here. This is uh, this would allow, I guess you could run some wires out the back that way. I'm actually going to have to drill a couple of holes in the top of this thing, which will be a little tricky because I want to make sure I do it neatly. But when you're done, you've got this relatively neat and clean package. All right, next up, we got a multi-package here from Amazon. Let's see what we got. All right, we've got three items here. Uh, first one, we'll grab this one. This is a universal remote control for a Genie garage door opener. Um, I am renovating my uh, garage and sort of using it as an expansion of my office. Oh, it's got batteries in it. Um, but uh, so my plan is that I'm gonna be extending, uh, just, just say reworking my garage. And uh, it would be convenient to have a garage door opener button in two different places. And I looked at some of the different options and it just seemed like the best option was to actually use a, um, a remote control like this as opposed to buying another wall mount thing. Now that may not make sense once I get it up in there, but the plan is to just actually use a second remote as my second garage door opener and see how that goes. Um, as this thing here is, uh, I have a similar one, but I was actually having some problems getting everything to sync and I thought it'd be interesting to try something a little different. This is the uh, mini AV to HDMI and the point of this thing is it takes uh, RCA cables and those are some cheap RCA cables um, and it converts it 
to HDMI. Now, I need that for a couple of reasons. Uh, one reason is that I am always trying to um, hook up old computers and things like that to modern TVs, so it's good for that. And the second thing is that rather than having a separate uh, video capture device for HDMI and um, RCA, I'm actually just going to use the HDMI output into my capture device so that I can capture things like old computers and consoles. So uh, my other one just had issues syncing. It was just, I was constantly losing shots because it didn't want to sync. And so we're going to see if this one works. I did actually find a better rated one. This is pretty good rated, but I found a better rated one that I think might be a little bit more what I need. Um, so we'll see. I might be ordering that one also. Uh, the one thing I think this is going to cause me a little bit of a problem is that it's going to keep the aspect ratio uh, 16 by 9 and most of the stuff that I'm going to want to capture and put up on the screen and stuff like that is going to be 4 by 3. So we're going to see. You may see another one of these in a future mailbag, maybe even this one. And last but not least, um, I actually ran out of these. It's funny, I, one of my more popular videos lately is doing a thing where I show how to change the battery on a key fob. and. Uh, I told people to buy 18650, not 18650, 2032 batteries. And when I buy them for things like key fobs or anything that matter, I tend to get them uh, in like Energizer and stuff like that. But when I'm putting them in computers, I've actually had real good luck with these LICB 2032 batteries. So I buy them in packs of 10. Uh, they're like five bucks for a pack of 10, something like that. And uh, you know, they don't leak, they work, and for the most part, I like fixing computers and kind of sending them down the road, so uh, for the most part, you know, everything I've seen, they're perfectly good for my purposes. All right, next up, we've got a package, I think, from eBay. Uh, this thing, I think, got lost the first time, or I don't actually think they ever sent it. And I said something about it, so they resent it. Um, these are called Easy Sales. They're plugs and let me show you they're kind of interesting kind of like the christmas tree ones where um there is a fuse in the actual plug right there and the reason why i have that is that this power supply which i was just working on um it was a sealed power supply there was no um you know no screws or anything like that in there so i had to cut the power supply and then um, once I cut it, there was a fuse inside the actual unit. And uh, rather than putting another fuse in there, I thought it'd be kind of a decent idea. I'll have to get the right type and value of fuse. But uh, what I decided to do was actually to put a fuse in the plug. So I'm actually just gonna cut this plug off. Now I wish I could have found these in uh, this size in um, black. I couldn't, but I found them in green. But at least the thing I kind of like about that is it'll be um, fairly obvious that there's something different about this plug. So if you don't know that there's a fuse in there, um, you'll know by then. So anyway, made sense to get a 10 pack of these. They have these in white, black, and green. And then there's also two things, uh, I forget what they're called. I think there's one that's called like a, anyway, there's two different sizes. One is for 18 gauge wire, one's for 20 gauge wire. And so you have to make sure you get the right um, classification and then the right size fuse you'll have to put in there. So kind of interesting, but um, yeah, I might show this in another video. So we have some other things I ordered. Um, these things I absolutely love and I was down to my last one. Uh, these are, smaller size um, anti-static bags and I have this thing I have three of these drawers right now that have logic chips in them and so um, I know that this drawer starts at 126 so uh, or 133 is the first one and so I like putting in here that I've got um, you know these chips they're broken down by style and in this case my wife sometimes she'll go through and test them all with the chip tester so she's already checked that all these chips actually work um so that's kind of nice so anyway i just have an entire bin of those things so anytime i'm doing something that needs anti-static uh i buy these bags buy a hundred of them from amazon and uh there are i have some bigger ones i got in you know fairly recently and i use those for bigger projects and stuff but these 
hundred of them. They're good quality. Um, I've mentioned this before, but when you're when you take one of these things, you can actually um, put some rubbing alcohol on it and erase whatever you've written on there. So in the event that I accidentally have two bags, you know, one of them is labeled wrong or I make a mistake, you just throw some alcohol on it and uh, just wipe it off. Next up, uh, these aren't too exciting, but uh, one thing I've just kind of decided around my office is I'm sick of all Sharpies that aren't either black or silver. I really like the silver Sharpies. I think they're awesome for going on dark things. And uh, black Sharpies are where it's at. Every, I'll be digging around and I'll have a, uh, I'll find an orange Sharpie that's about useless to me in my shop. But you know, if you got something like this, you want to write on it and you want a dark color that you can see um really well and again i didn't waste that because you can just rub it off also fake brand sharpies absolutely suck so i got the real deals um the only thing i don't like about the silvers i love the silver sharpies if you don't have one you need one um i just wish that they had the same uh hook here i don't really understand why the cap is different on a silver sharpie uh for one thing i'd like to be able to wear it on my shirt and then second of all um a lot of times what i'll do is i'll, I'll kind of clip them like this to the end of a you know, of a bin or something like that. And I can't do that with the silver one, so it does make it easier for them to get lost. Don't understand why there's no cap thingy on the silver Sharpie. If you know, um, please let me know.